Hey everybody, it is Saturday morning and I'm going to shoot an update on the pond here. This won't be my final update for the season because we will be coming out here and getting it ready for the winter at some point, so we'll have to get some video of that. But I did want to get an overall look at the pond at the late end of summer, last few days of summer. The unofficial ending of summer was a couple of weeks ago, but technically we've still got a few days left before we are officially in springtime. So one thing I want to do today is get in there and clear away some of that floating water lettuce. That stuff grows like crazy. Two or three times now over the summer I've had to get in there and remove a bunch of that. Oh look, we got a little frog out. All four of them had jumped away when I walked up. And apparently one of them has come back out for a moment. So I have four frogs like that living in here now. And to my knowledge, none of the tadpoles i had put in the pond actually survived and so i think these four frogs just found their way into the pond in fact i probably didn't have to buy any tadpoles at all i could have just waited and frogs would have shown up when i walked up this morning i had two of them sitting here i had one of them sitting on a rock up here and of course they all jumped into the middle of the pond and that one was not over there so he may have climbed back out since i went inside to get my camera and everything so not a lot to talk about. Like I say, it's just getting kind of overgrown. You can see how the water is really tannin stained. I probably ought to get up here and clear away some of the leaves and stuff that are getting in the way of where my water flows down through there. And it's entirely possible that I might get in there and try to pull some of the leaves and stuff out of the bottom. If you look in here, there's a bunch of collection of leaves and everything that have collected on the bottom and out of curiosity I was gonna consider doing a water change but I'm not 100% sure I had somebody ask me once why I was doing a water change since it's a pond and as far as I'm concerned this may be a pond but this is no different than an open topped aquarium in my basement it's a container of water that just has a pump pumping water out of it back up to the top and flowing back in it this is not a real pond it's not you know the water that's in there is not flowing away or soaking into the ground and that's not fresh water coming in from a spring or a, an outside source this is just recycled water going around and around and around just like it's in a fish tank so why after all of these months did i check this morning and i have no nitrate whatsoever in this pond it's absolutely zero nitrate in there and other than maybe the plants drinking it up i don't know where else it would go now having said that i'll grant you i do have a water lily in there you can see the pads i've got all this uh, water lettuce that grows incredibly fast i do have this huge water calla that's growing up and out of the water that's in a planter but it is in the water and i've got this uh, pickerel rush right here this is in the water this is not this is a elephant here that's planted outside of it uh, but this is also in the water so it's quite possible i guess that all of the plants in there are what is drinking up all of the nitrates so uh, readily like that so no real need to get in there and do a water change again with the um, tannin stained it's you know the water is really really dark but it doesn't matter too much when you get up close the goldfish come right up to the surface i've got a few black koi in there and i saw them yesterday up close while i was feeding the tank i tried to get a look at them to see how they were doing and the black koi are actually getting pretty large so i think next season will definitely be the season where i either need to rehome those or we need to resize this pond or something we'll have to wait and see how that plays out but I'm going to wrap the video up. I got one of my neighbors out there shooting his guns out in his backyard. And I never like being out in the yard when they're out shooting. Because I don't know what direction they're shooting. Uh, or how safe they're being or anything else. It's just a bunch of crazy gunshots coming from down the street. And so I am going to go ahead and go on inside. Where it will at least reduce my chances of inadvertently getting shot while I'm out in my backyard. So thanks for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to get in on the side. So make sure you're subscribed. Don't forget I do a live stream every Friday and Sunday night. So thanks for watching this one. And I will see you real soon on the next one.